That sounds like a contest I would have loved to participate in. Game back to his rollerblading sections. I don't get why, like, they couldn't just have three consecutive rollerblading levels. Of course, I don't get why they couldn't just combine to one level. Just to make sure the levels aren't redundant. So I end up jumping backwards. That happens if you jump immediately after you land. Clearly could have used a beta polish in there, but at the same time doesn't affect the gameplay, so eh, I suppose. And there'll be another burning level after. Admittedly, um, whenever you destroy a power sack, when it gets flashy, when uh, it does hurt my eyes a bit, I mean, you do get, get kind of used to it after a while, but still, it, I can imagine it being a problem for some people. It's better than C's, sure, and all, but even so, that is one minor nitpick I have for the game. Along multiple others. Yay, another burning level. This one can actually be... You can actually reach the end in almost no time at all if you know where to head to. So much to friggin' collect here. I don't really care enough, so let's just head to the end immediately. Thankfully, these don't last long if you don't want them to. Don't care enough. And a third rollerblading level. Not too long after we were introduced to this mechanic. But, eh. Oh well. Once again. Sonic Gems Collection was really disappointed at first for lack of Knuckles Chaotix and Sega Sonic Arcade, although we'll say these Vector Man games do make up for it, even if they're clearly not even created by Sonic Team. You do get introduced to these solid underrated Shoestein titles. One thing I thought would be a no-brainer that Sega would use it. Like with a 3DS, surely Sega would have the desire to, with this trackball mechanic and DS's touch screen gimmick, be able to play Sega Sonic Arcade on that particular handheld. I mean, I, with again that trackball gimmick, I. I do kind of get why I wasn't at it here. Maybe someday Sega will find a way to port those titles. Just maybe. Same as maybe there'll be another Vectorman game. I said this once, I'll say it again. If a Shenmue 3 is happening, then damn it, so can a Vectorman 3. Just like Valve, Sega seems, un seems to have a problem with having thir third installments to franchises. It's even a completely different bonus level. Let's see how long I will last here, or even complete this bonus stage. So much meteors. So many plants slash moons to to pass by. Let's 
seem to be performing well thus far. I do wish the, the camera zoom out just a bit more. You can't really see where it's coming until it's too late. That is certainly one thing Sonic games can improve upon is having the camera zoomed out a bit. There's certainly some two games like that would have been nice to have. Missed chances. Such a lengthy fall that was. An easy set of photons. And another kick ass song. Okay, you're punching at nothing. Oh yeah, Vector Man's been working out. Actually, not really, he's just been... Just borrowed some DNA once more. You can't really utilize your fist that much, though. I mean... You do not have it for very long. And with having to... Burrow through... Parts of the stages, it can certainly slow down your process. And mainly, that sound effect is a wee bit too loud. You, like when the screen flashes like that, you do get used to it after a while, but still. I imagine me trouble some death to get used to first place. And just like Scorpion form, you end up losing your momentum when you jump. Oh yeah. Even when hit when hitting a spot that's invulnerable and choosing it, able to take it down with your fists. Oh yeah. At least there's only a little bit of burring here and there, so I don't mind it too much. These just plain normal stages. Not too gimmicky stages. Oh, this game really shine. Okay, we're gonna head to just keep ascending, perhaps. Oh yeah, times ten. Thankfully, it didn't disappear off screen like we would have with most games. I've already showed this bonus level off, so I I almost feel like just intentionally dying. So this one not try to drag on too long. Yeah. I'll be a good sport anyways. Plots. Orbiting planets. Imagine that. You have a lot more time to start with in the other bonus stage. One problem with all the shooting is that obviously you won't be able to listen to the soundtrack quite as well. You won't be able to hear how awesomely badass it is with all the firing in this game. So many pocket watches. 
And that's fine. I am perfectly fine with it. And another... Another reused... Background. So this is using the same graphics as the last one. So these levels don't have quite as much variety as with the first game. So thankfully redundancy doesn't occur too often. This game still finds ways to keep it fresh, thankfully. I don't think I've mentioned this, but this game also had a release for the PC. So that was something gamers could have enjoyed with. Back when internet was primitive, back when you clearly couldn't surf anywhere near as quickly. Not even close. Back when then there was dial-up, back when you had to wait a couple minutes before you can actually get on the net, even if the computer's already been on. Back when you had to wait a couple or so minutes to load a page, even if there's not much on it. Here's a form that kicks so much in. You do lose your momentum when jumping, but not completely this time around, thankfully. Charge! Ram into everything. I'm the unstoppable. To the right is the exit, but I feel like this one is a little just a little bit anyways. Okay, what's in there? More photons. Yay. That's always underwhelming. Seriously, this game, come to think of it, is really generous when it comes to time it gives you outside of bonus stages. Whereas I remember repl replaying through the first game, there were a couple of there are a few really close calls, a couple of times where I almost ran out of time, but it doesn't seem to be a case you I mean. Ten minutes to take care of these snakes? Seriously? Seriously, now? And here's a technique that I found to be rather helpful. Just jump in mid-air, shoot diagonally downwards into a left or right. And it's like this that shoots straight at you when you're on ground. That technique does help rather tremendously. I remember this was as far as I got playing through a normal mode. So I did get a bit farther this time. This game is probably slightly easier than the first installment, though the difficulty is still rather similar. But hey, there's at least more time limit. This one makes more sense that it's 10 minutes. You have more time to turn this game into a collector. If you don't know where to go, you can actually get confused on where the hell the exit is. It's actually a lot easier to locate it than you think. You might have already passed it multiple times. This can be a really short stitch, so let's let's try to appreciate um how the developers design this level. This game has to offer. 
that was a bit of slow down there. So much mayhem. Okay, this if you make it to a certain spot up there, you'll be able to get a couple of extra lives. You can steal DNA from fire ants in this level and this level alone. Oops. I jumped to the left too soon. Up. Up. Ow. I jumped to my death. Personally. But no biggie. One problem with this game is that it doesn't really make it clear where the exit is. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter too much if you're in a linear level. But for a level like this, these were... There are several places that look like, looks like it could be the end of it. But actually isn't. Developers really need to find a better way to make sure that players knew where they were going. Another one of these burning levels, but because there is a bit a bit of crumbling and it doesn't last too long, I I can't say I minded too much. Oh! Checkpoint! Although it doesn't take long to get here. The time is clearly too generous this time around. I did not notice it the other times, but yeah. 20 friggin' minutes to get to this hideous, weird boss. You can already tell what its weak point is. When he can hear that cry. It constantly gets all wavy, so it is invulnerable that way. Not too difficult for the boss, so it can be a bit time consuming. It should be almost there. There we go. Twenty minutes, my ass. I didn't even take a couple. <laughs> <laughs> 